Okay, uh, I want to just demonstrate some work that I've been doing on uh, injectors. A guy named Peter got me into messing with injectors, experimenting with them. <laughs> He's got got that back to answer for Peter. Um, but, uh, this is a horizontal injector that I've made. Um, it's, it works, I've run, it, run, run these types of uh, uh, injectors on the local for two or three years now. Uh, but it, it got me to wondering why it is that on five inch gauge locals they tend to use horizontal injectors. It's got me to doing a little bit of research etc. And uh, the, the problem is, is that uh, there's a little clap valve in here that uh, for the injector to work properly it, it needs to shut off and to shut off it needs a little bit of help from the gravity so merely turning a horizontal injector on its side like that won't work, gravity is going the wrong way the clap valve won't shut off uh, they've got vertical injectors on bigger locals, bigger size this sort of thing but uh, to, to get around this problem what they, they do is they have like spring loaded uh, clap valves and flat valves, this sort of thing, and they're a lot far more complicated and uh, of course with added complications they're more difficult to make and also a little bit more iffy to make, particularly in the smaller sizes, bigger sizes not so bad you haven't got to, you're not struggling with tiny things um, anyway after a little bit of experimenting around with Peter we've actually come up with this injector here, this vertical injector um, Right where it differs is that it's actually got uh, two uh, overflow pipes. This pipe here is coming from the com combination cone. And it's separated off from the, the other one. This allows the clap valve, which is here, to work in a vertical position. Uh, the other overflow comes from the delivery, delivery uh, uh, cones. I've run it three times on my local now and it's working quite well. Uh, one of the advantages of a vertical one is you can actually get um, better, more direct uh, pipe runs. I mean, if you can see there, that's that's my feed, feed, steam feed, which comes from up here on the on the turret here. It's directly down, straight down there with minimum of bends. Likewise, on the delivery, which is the bottom one here, it just goes down up up there and it's. Is actually water is delivered into the into clap valve here, the back head. So it's very short and very direct. And the water actually comes via this this, this ball valve here, and it's fed from the water tender at the back here. Um, this is my uh, simplex loco. The water systems on it. It's got uh, three three systems of getting water in. It's got uh, I've got side tanks here and there's a hand pump in the side here. It's also got an axle pump which is underneath the here driven off the front front driving wheels. Uh, the axle pump is a twin acting uh, balanced pump and that's controlled along with the hand pump from this bypass valve here. It's a bit counterintuitive the way it works when you don't want the water going in, you open it up and the water from the actual pump when you're running just comes around, circulates around, back into the tank out the tank, into there. The actual water is taken out of this uh, bunker tank at the bottom here. So I've got one, two, three tanks there and I've also got an auxiliary tank uh, wagon at the back that's got water in it and that, uh, that tank feeds cold water into the injector. It doesn't take the warm water from the tank, the injector doesn't. Okay, this is me ready for steaming it up. I say the what water in the tanks there. We've also got a bunker tank here. And we've got this uh, cold type water tank at the back here. That's all water from there downwards. This is connected to the bunker tank from the centre pipe here. And the injector has got uh, its own supply here. So it's got a constant supply of cold water going into it. I'll get it steamed up and I'll show you the injector working.
Okay, I'll just demonstrate the injector working. That's a pressure gauge, we're on about 40, 50 psi. Oh, water running, water taps turned on. Turn the steam on. There we go, injector's working. You see, water going in the top. The pressure was about 30, 50 pounds per square inch. Water's cracked on, keeping it cool, cold water in there. Just turn the steam on. There we go, that's it working. You see the gauge gas bouncing, water's going in. See the level coming up. The overflow thickening a little bit. Water's coming up nicely. I'll turn it off now. <laughs>